Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode. Today, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a review of this 2019 Nissan Frontier. Now, how did I get my hands on it? Well, that's simple. I own it. This is my 19 Frontier. And if you are subscribed, you have for sure seen this truck. <laughs> Short arms. Loads of times on the channel. This here is my baby. And my baby is about to roll over 60,000 kilometers. Yeah, I can't believe it either. 60,000 kilometers. If you remember, uh, we had the Subaru Impreza before this. I did a review a while back of the Impreza. I wasn't too impressed with it, let me tell you that. Um, but I only got that thing to 52,000 before I traded it in for this thing. Now, the deal that I got on it originally was a screaming deal because, hey, I worked for a Nissan dealership here in Cranbrook. Um, so I got a really good deal because I was an employee. Um, so I love the truck, but we've got a lot to discuss because 64,000 kilometers is kind of a big deal. <laughs> so let's get to it. We got to get gas because I'm at a quarter tank and I have work later today. Um, so let's get started. All right, before you say anything, yeah, yeah, I know that's a lot of those little trees, but you know what? It's uh, a little tribute uh, to my hometown, well, hometown region. Uh, you see, I grew up around Edmonton and 780 tuners, all these, that sort of a thing. So that's a little bit of a tribute to uh, my old stomping grounds. But nonetheless, like I said, we gotta get some gas. Uh, so let's head over to the gas station. And while we're heading over to the gas station, let's talk a little bit about the truck. Uh, like I said, both roll over 64,000 kilometers. And it's about to go over uh, to Nissan for uh, its 64,000 kilometer service. I'll let you know how that goes. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't have high hopes for it. Uh, there's a few little squeaks, a few little rattles, but the amount of driven it since I've owned it, I've owned it maybe, uh, a little over two years, I think. I bought it just before the pandemic. Um, so just before the pandemic is when I obtained this beautiful, beautiful beast. Uh, I've done a couple videos on it. The paint, <laughs> do you watch that paint video? It's either that corner or that corner. I can't remember, um, but you can watch that video. That video gives you all my thoughts on uh, the color and the paint job. Um, it's a great truck. It's done me well it's served me well it's gone on a couple of road trips um just waiting for some of the restrictions to lift a little bit here in bc everybody's starting to get vaccinated uh against covid so uh we're making headway and soon we will be able to go on some awesome weekend warrior road trips uh, as far as the build i'm still debating that we're gonna get into that a little bit more but uh for now we're just waiting for this light to turn. There we go. <laughs> That's a long light. Uh, fuel economy, I came from cars. This is my first uh, newer truck, new truck. Um, obviously I had an 85 uh, C1500, uh, GMC C1500 before this with a 350 cubic inch. I can't compare fuel mileage from 350 to uh, V6, modern V6 fuel injected. So, Let's all take turns. Um, so the fuel economy, I think it's good for a truck. I, I think so. The amount that I drive and the amount I spend on fuel and you know, I don't mash the pedal every day. So, I mean, I think it's a good fuel, fuel economy. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, you're gonna spend money on fuel gotta get over it um fuel prices around here are a little bit nuts it's worse the further west you go in bc so i don't have a lot to complain about right now it is a buck 37 oh well could always be vancouver or vancouver island they're dollar 40 dollar 45 buck 50 nope <laughs> i just put regular grade fuel in this and it runs like a freaking charm man I love it. Some people say the Frontier is their 
weak. They don't have power. You know what? It's got plenty of power for me. But let's uh, fill this up and uh, I'll let you know some more thoughts. Give me one second. Okay, you guys, just filled up. We got uh, just shy of 50 liters. Um, it was at just under quarter tank. I had maybe like 160 kilometers left. Um, those aren't completely accurate. So I usually fill up at a quarter. Um, so just to give you an idea, uh, let's see here. Doll, uh, gas is $1.379. Put in about 49 liters, like I said. Uh, I've got petrol points and my RBC Visa linked up, uh, linked up to it, rather. So I save a little bit of money there. Uh, so the pump said I spent 68 bucks. Uh, with my fuel savings, I saved a buck 48. Woo! Uh, so the total came to $66.52. So not bad <laughs> it could be worse like i said could be worse could be vancouver vancouver island that would probably cost me 100 bucks maybe 80 i don't know but yeah so you know it's got a decent sized tank it's you know everything works great it's a good truck so uh mostly highway driving um i with a full tank i get about 500 and I get between 500 to 600 kilometers range according to the DTE computer in this thing. So how accurate that is, <laughs> I don't know. But so far it's been pretty decent. So, you know, fuel economy, it's not the greatest. Uh, keep in mind, this is a truck with a few little upgrades here and there. It's a 2005 truck <laughs> with uh, fuel powertrain upgrades here and there uh, I think 2012 or 2015 they did a few little upgrades improved turning radius and all that fun stuff um, I could have gone but oh well so essentially it's way less computerized than majority of the vehicles on the road these days which is something that I was looking for because uh, call me old-fashioned <laughs> but I don't want to be driving a rolling database down the road. <laughs> I want to be in control of my vehicle, not some stupid database or computer crap. <laughs> I'm driving, man. But uh, no, it's been a great truck. It's served me very well uh, over the last 60,000 kilometers. I'm super happy with it. Now, the big question, well, I've got the tunnel cover. What modifications have I done to the truck? I've got the tunnel cover on the back. I've got uh, aftermarket rims and wheels on it. Um, I had to put, uh, what is it? Quarter inch spacers? Quarter inch, maybe a little less, three eighths spacers, I think. Uh, just so the front rims would clear the calipers because the rims I have on now, they're designed for uh, four uh, F-250. <laughs> so I've got heavy duty rims, heavy duty tires on this thing that were designed for this vehicle. So I had to do a little modification and I have to put a little bit of a lift in soon uh, because the turning wheels, even though I put the spacers in, they still rub, <laughs> they still rub. Um, and I've kind of worn through the wheel well lining. Uh, I've got little holes <laughs> in my wheel well lining. So we gotta get that fixed. We'll get that fixed soon-ish, someday, we'll see. Gotta get the lift in first. Uh, I've got big plans for this truck now whether or not I'm gonna go ahead with those plans, I'm not too sure because uh, my buddy Jeff over at Corey Daddy, Mo Daddy Motorsports, if I can say his name right, um, he just uh, sold his truck back to a dealership and pretty much paid it off. He's had that thing, I think it was a 2018 or 2017 uh, Tacoma TRD Pro, and he sold it back for darn near what he got for it. Um, so, the temptation is there. Um, I don't like debt. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Okay, so for this bit here, I decided let's just pull over and chat because it is kind of a big deal. I never saw 2020 coming. <laughs> but if I saw the madness of 2020 and so far the little bit of 2021, if I saw that coming, would I have bought the truck? Now I get a lot of questions about this. Would would I have bought the truck if I saw it coming? 
No. Honestly, I would not have bought the truck if I saw COVID coming. I wouldn't have because I don't like debt. And let me tell you, this is my only debt. I am very blessed. I am very, very fortunate. This is my only debt. Being laid off for seven months, I had to cover my rent. I had to cover all my bills, my cell phone, my internet, everything else. And truck payment. I could have done without the truck payment. Let me tell you. If I saw 2020 coming and what it would throw the world into, I would have bought something cash. I would have for sure gotten rid of the Subaru. <laughs> no question about that. But I would have got something cash. That way, it's less debt, more money in my bank account, more money for fun adventures, fun things. But you know what? It is what it is. If I saw 2020 coming, I would not have bought the truck. But here we are. I bought the truck. I'm making payments on the truck. I am trying to pay it off as quick as I can while still having fun and living my life the way I'd like to. But that brings us to another thing. <laughs> Holy crap. I've been watching Van City Van Life, Chrome and Cruise, the, the dog, and holy smokes. I've got a couple buddies that they do van life and RV life. And you know what? It is very, very enticing. Let me tell you, it is super enticing. What are the plans for the truck? I'm going to roll my window down because my luck, whoops, one more. My luck, the truck is going to somehow auto lock on me. <laughs> my dad's RVR did that to him one time and he was stuck at work just geez right there he could see him but that's <laughs> so now I always roll down the window of him going outside the truck leaving the keys in the truck I know the truck's secured I'm around it so I keep an eye on it so I just I leave the keys in there so yeah so sorry about the wind if you there's a little bit of wind sorry about that that's life <laughs> you can't do much about it so what are the plans for the truck? Well, I want to do the front bumper. I want to do like a coastal off-road, kind of an off-road bumper with a winch for adventuring, you know, because I think that would be super, super freaking cool. That way I could go adventuring and because Max Tracks can get you so far. Sometimes you really need that little tug. So I want to do that. Um, other than that, I told you about the little lift. That I have to put on there. <laughs> Seriously, take a look at this. Yeah, see? Right there. <laughs> That's from these things. Right there. Let's focus on there, baby. Go on. There you go. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> I should have put that lift on a little bit sooner, but oh well. It was running. I was like, ah, it'll be fine. Nope. So I really got to do that lift. But I got to count for the weight of the bumper and the winch and that. Like I said, I got the tunnel cover right here the bed of the truck is a little bit messy but i got my max tracks and i got that uh, swing out case in there i gotta do a video on that swing out case i've been wanting to do a video on that for a while uh, i just haven't really gotten around to it but i will i will do that video on that swing out case uh just you know a couple personalized stickers uh, i love this one <laughs> it's backwards for you but it says a quaint little drinking town with a skiing problem that's kimberly right there man <laughs> but other than that you know i'd love to put a little bit of uh rocker protection on there maybe some uh, uh scrub bars or bush bars or something like that just something to protect that because that's an expensive fix if i break that man <laughs> No, not just a little bit of cookie pin striping from the trees and that. But you know what? It has been a freaking awesome truck. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But if someone came along and said, hey, dude, we're going to pay off your loan. Give you a little extra cash and you can go buy that van. I'd freaking do it, man. <laughs> I would. I would. Because I love the freedom. I love that I can just go wherever. I got my house with me. <laughs> I got my house with me so I go wherever I got all my creature comforts and I would get a little dog too not a little dog 
probably like an Australian Shepherd or a uh, uh, Shetland Sheepdog, something like that. Because I love my fluffy dogs. <laughs> I've always had fluffy dogs. I love them, and I miss having a dog. But you know what? Oh, she still starts great. She still performs. Heater works. Uh, you see, that's the only thing with these trucks here. You really got to watch. If you're in the market for a Frontier, you really got to watch the AC uh, and the heat. If you're standing still, you're not moving, and you try and blast the heat, it's it's not going to heat up. Uh, it's just going to blow cold air. So you got to move the truck to get the heat. Um, that's a just a common little problem with these trucks. It's a relatively simple fix. So that's just something to look out for. Heated seats work great. I uh, don't have cold seats. Everything else works pretty bloody good in this thing. Um, you know, you take care of stuff. You take care of your stuff, and it will last you. Trust me, take care of your stuff, man, and it'll last you. But you know what? That's um, that's pretty much it. You know, it still performs great, still accelerates great on the 64,000K on it. She still runs like a top. She still runs like new. I freaking love this thing, man. Love it. Still learning about this truck. You never stop learning about your vehicle. Never, ever. So I'm still learning about it. Um, other than that, that's about it. There's really not much to say. Usually these reviews are like, oh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, but nah. <laughs> it's still, you know, other than the heater issue, it runs great. So if you're looking for a bulletproof truck, man, look at a Frontier. I'm telling you, look at a Frontier. I don't know about the new ones with the new engine. I think it's a 3.8 liter and uh, the new transmission. I don't know. I've never driven it. Uh, the chip shortage. They had one at the dealership, but it's all like like that. But um, yeah, like I said, we got some thinking to do on the channel, whether we want to do van life or not. Uh, whether, you know, just life, man. Just life. Because it's too freaking short to be stuck being bored. <laughs> Make it interesting, man. Travel, adventure, whatever brings you joy, go and do it, man. Seriously, go and freaking do it. If you want to check out a really cool channel, you got to check out Chrome and Cruise the Bulldog. They're over on Van City Van Life. I've been watching them like crazy the last couple of days. Fellow BC here. And uh, it's tempting. It really is tempting. And it's a sign when the dealerships in town all have little cargo vans like Sprinters and Expresses. I think it might be a sign. It might be. But we got some thinking to do. But that's it for this video. It's a long video. I've been watching the little timer at the top and holy crap. <laughs> I've been filming for a long time. But that's it for this video. Like I said, it, it's probably a boring review because there's not much to talk about because everything's still running great. <laughs> that's it for this time, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you definitely <laughs> hit that subscribe button and check out this video here. Um, share it with your buddies. If you got friends looking for a small to mid-sized truck, check out Frontier. Check it out. But like I said, click subscribe, check out the video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have fun. Get her done.